So far in these videos, if you remember back, I said 90% of these pump system problems are related to the uh, piping and not the pump itself. But that does leave 10% of problems that are related to the pump. Uh, one of those is a pump that is just worn out. In other words, we have worn internals as a result of many years of service or from premature wear due to abrasives or lack of lubrication. Uh, the symptoms of this, well, the first the customer is going to notice is a loss of capacity. Complaints come in about the pump being slow or being tired. It used to provide a certain amount of flow and now that flow is decreased somewhat. Uh, the second symptom that we might uh, have reported is a loss of pressure. Uh, and while not directly related to the flow, it is related in that the amount of flow going through the system should have been shown as a certain amount of pressure. In other words, to push that flow through the discharge piping always took a certain amount of pressure. And if that pressure starts to go down, it can be an indication that we're pushing less flow through the discharge piping. And the third one, uh, not related now to the discharge side, but related to the suction side, is that we're having difficulty getting the pump to prime. In other words, those worn internals can be letting air slip back through those gears and make it so that we have to run the pump faster and faster in order to get a prime to develop. Uh, based on that, then, we're going to have to run some tests. Uh, and the first one I like to recommend is just to rule out those easy things. Make sure the relief valve is set correctly, make sure the head is put on correctly, uh, because those are easy things to check without disassembling the pump. Again, this is something that likely developed over a long period of time, so the customer can assure you they've not changed the relief valve setting, the head is on correctly, uh, so they can be quickly ruled out. But the next step is going to be a little more complicated, and that is we do need to run an inspection on the pump internals. Uh, this means shutting the pump down, opening it up, and measuring those pump internals. Uh, now, a visual inspection is good and can, sometimes can lead to an immediate root cause uh, identified, but really to do it right requires some measurements to be taken of those critical components of the internals. Bushings, pins, shafts, and gears all need to be measured and compared to the pump inspection report to make sure that pump is in like new condition. Uh, from that, we can identify any parts that are worn out of specification. We can replace them, put the pump back together. If all the bad parts are replaced and the pump is reassembled and put back together correctly, uh, the capacity should return and the wear should have been remedied. 